This may sound alarmist, but we're living in an era of conflicts. There are two big wars raging already, and given how things are unfolding, there might just be a third war. And every time our world has gone to war, there have been advancements in war equipment and technology. The latest one is quite striking. According to reports, Britain has invented a laser gun which can blow up drones. This formidable prototype weapon has been dubbed Dragonfire. It was fired at a remote range in Scotland's outer in the outer regions. In a landmark test for anti-missile weaponry, the test was conducted by military scientists at the top secret Portendown lab. Reports say the weapon destroyed incoming drones from several positions while being miles away. So what exactly is this weapon? How lethal is it? And where will Britain use it? Let's find out. To start with, the Dragonfire laser gun is worth at least 140 million euros. But a single shot of this gun costs 10 euros per shot to fire, meaning millions of pounds could be saved in future conflicts. It can fire at least from a distance of two miles. But its true range is classified. It can be fitted into warships and can destroy targets with pinpoint accuracy. The gun can be used to shoot down missiles, planes, drones and even satellites. The weapon uses an intense beam of light to burn a hole in its target, with the process being described like welding metal at range. The idea behind this feature is to either disable the target's capabilities or to destroy it completely. But the question is, why did the UK need such a weapon? Because of the growing conflicts globally, reports say attacks in the Red Sea by Iran-backed Houthi rebels, push ministers and civil servants in the UK to come up with a cheap yet effective weapon for counter-strikes. As of today, the UK is relying on Sea Viper missiles from the HMS Diamond, a Type 45 destroyer to attack drones and missiles. But they cost around 1 million euros each. This is where the Dragonfire comes in. Given how its cost of operating the laser is typically less than 10 euros per shot, plus scientists believe that it would be particularly useful against swarms of drones heading for a ship or armoured vehicles. Here's a statement from Grant Shapps, who is serving as a UK Secretary for State for Defence. He says, and I quote, This type of cutting-edge weaponry has the potential to revolutionise the battle space by reducing the reliance on expensive ammunition while also lowering the risk of collateral damage. This technology is crucial in a highly contested world. The UK further hopes that the laser will reduce the reliance on high-cost ammunition by providing a bottomless capability that enables military chiefs to defend assets vastly and more cheaply. They say firing the weapon for 10 seconds costs the equivalent of using a heater for an hour. Therefore, it has the potential to be a long-term and low-cost alternative for certain tasks which are currently performed by missiles alone. So is the UK the first country to come up with such a technology? Not really. Countries such as the US are developing their own laser technology. In fact, Russia has already claimed to have used prototype lasers against Ukrainian drones. Although Ukrainian military experts question their efficacy, saying the lasers are not good enough, as for the UK, it believes that it could be the first to put these lasers to practical use by deploying them on board warships. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.